Hello dear students, welcome back to Biovidyalaya. This is your educated Chitra. I hope you all are doing very well. Today in this lecture video we are going to discuss about KDEL sequence and its receptor. I took this topic from cell biology and it is one of the important topic for competitive examination. So without further delay let's get into today's class. So KDEL. KDEL is an amino acid sequence. It is an amino acid sequence. I think you all know the one letter code for amino acids. So K for lysine, D for aspartic acid, E for glutamic acid and L for leucine. Okay. So KDEL sequence means Lysine, aspartic acid, glutamic acid, leucine. How uh, can we write KDL sequence in three letter code? For lysine, L, Y, S. For aspartic acid, A, S, P. For glutamic acid, G, L, U. And for leucine, L, E U. So this is the three letter code. Okay. This is a three letter code for K D E L sequence. Okay. Now we know which amino acids are present in this K D E L sequence. Next we can uh, see uh, what is the importance of this sequence. Okay. So our K D E L sequence is a target peptide sequence. It is a target peptide sequence or we can say signal peptide. KDL sequence is a signal peptide. What is meant by signal peptide that means a short peptide of uh, 3 to 70 amino acids long that direct the transport of a protein to specific region in the cell okay that region may be um, Nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplast, plasma membrane, peroxisome, etc. So target peptide means a short peptide uh, of about uh, 3 to 70 amino acid long that direct the transport of a protein to specific region in the cell. Okay. So our KDL, KDL sequence is such type of target peptide sequence. Okay. So where this KDL sequence is present? We can see this KDL sequence in both mammals and plants. It is located in the C terminal end of the protein. It is present in the C terminal end of the protein and it is specific for endoplasmic reticulum resident protein. The, this KDEL sequence is specific for endoplasmic reticulum resident proteins. Okay. So this KDEL sequence that prevent a protein from being secreted from the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. It prevent a uh, protein from being secreted out of the endoplasmic reticulum. If this protein actually accidentally go out of this endoplasmic reticulum then what will happen this KDEL sequence allow it return to 
endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. So, KDL sequence prevent a protein from being secreted from the endoplasmic reticulum and facilitate its return to endoplasmic reticulum accidentally if exported. Okay. So, this KDL sequence is an address for endoplasmic reticulum protein. Okay. It is an address of endoplasmic reticulum protein. See this diagram. I know the drawing is not that much of good. Excuse me for that. So, here this blue color one is endoplasmic reticulum and this is Golgi. This violet color one is Golgi and this circular ones are vesicles. Okay. This blue color circle is vesicle from endoplasmic reticulum and uh, this violet color uh, circle is uh, vesicle from Golgi. Okay. So, here we know that proteins are produced in endoplasmic reticulum. So, we can call it as manufacturing unit. Okay. From uh, endoplasmic reticulum, then this protein will supply to other organelles. Okay. So, first it will go to Golgi. Then it will, uh, that protein will uh, supply to other organelles or it will secrete out. Okay. So, in endoplasmic reticulum, two types of proteins are present. One without KDEL sequence and one with KDEL sequence. Okay. So, the protein with KDEL sequence is known as endoplasmic reticulum resident protein. Okay. They are the member of um, endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. They are living in endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. So, sometimes um, this endoplasmic resident protein will go to Golgi along with non-endoplasmic reticulum proteins. Okay. Because uh, vesicle budding is very uh, fast process, that is very dynamic process, that's why there is a chance some resident protein accidentally move to Golgi apparatus. Then what will do? Then this KDL secant, KDEL sequence is playing important role. Okay. As soon as the protein with KDEL sequence enter um, Golgi, that means cis Golgi, there is one receptor is present in cis Golgi. That is called a KDEL receptor. KDEL receptor. So, this KDEL receptor in cis Golgi recognize the uh, protein with KDL sequence. Okay. And that will bound with that particular protein. Finally, it will take back this endoplasmic reticulum resident protein to endoplasmic reticulum. And um, this KDL receptor will release out resident proteins of endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. But how it is possible? In Golgi, KDL receptor bind with uh, target protein. But in endoplasmic reticulum, KDL receptor release out target protein. But how it is possible? That time, pH is playing important role. In Golgi, pH is very low. But in endoplasmic reticulum, pH is high. Our KDEL receptor is very sensitive for pH. Okay. 
So, this KDL receptor binding depending depend upon pH that is depend on pH. So, the target protein that means the protein with KDL sequence binds strongly to the receptor in cis Golgi because of the low pH. As the vesicle contains KD, um, KDL receptor uh, reach endoplasmic reticulum, the pH in the endoplasmic reticulum is higher. That is why affinity of this KDL receptor with the target protein will decrease and that will secrete out the target protein. So, binding of KDL receptor to target protein is depending upon the pH. Okay. I think this is clear for you. So, this is what we discussed. The amino acids present in KDL sequence are lysine, aspartic acid, glutamic acid and leucine. KDL is a target peptide sequence that is located on the C terminal end of the amino acid structure of a protein. KDL sequence prevents a protein from being secreted from the endoplasmic reticulum and facilitates its return if it is accidentally exported. The KDL signal sequence is recognized by KDEL receptors which are commonly located in the cis Golgi lysosome and secretory vesicle. These receptors are recycled during each transport cycle. KDEL receptor binding is depending depend on pH in which the ligand that means the target protein with KDEL sequence binds strongly to the receptor in cis Golgi due to unique low pH. As the vesicle that contains KDEL receptor reaches the endoplasmic reticulum, the receptor is inactive due to the high pH of the endoplasmic reticulum resulting in the release of the target protein. Okay, I think this video will be helpful for you. This is one question based on our today's class. Question is a C terminal KDEL motif will most often ensure option A the protein to be folded by HSC70, option B the protein to be degraded by the ubiquitin proteasome pathway, option C secretion of the protein, option D endoplasmic reticulum retention of the protein. Okay, please try to answer this question. At the end of most of our classes, I try to ask one question. Please try to answer such type of questions. So, this is uh, today's question. Please try to answer this. I think this video will be helpful for you. If it is helpful, please click the like button. If you don't like, please click the dislike button. Share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe this channel. Keep learning. Thank you.